Okay, so, hi, hello, welcome back to another Creepypasta story video. Uh, this one we'll be reading Dead Bart. So, I decided to read Dead Bart because I already did the Rugrats theory. If you haven't seen that video, it probably posted two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Uh, this video has been recorded on the 29th of February, which is a leap. It's the leap day, so, you know, uh, happy birthday to anyone who was born on this day. Um, okay. But before we do get into the video, I do want to say a couple of things. Uh, first off, please consider using code GOONS at GamerSubs.gg is code G-O-O-N-S at checkout. You get 10% off at, you know, checkout. You get 10% off on the tubs, merchandise, and all that lovely stuff. And second, uh, this is all a one take, by the way. So you hear me stumble, mumble, fumble, and mess up my words. I am sorry. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. So. Let's get into it. This story is called Dead Bart. You know, Fox has a weird way of counting Simpsons episodes. They refuse to count a couple of them, making the amount of episodes inconsistent. The reason for this is a lost episode from season one. Finding details about this missing episode is difficult. No one who was working on the show at the time likes to talk about it. From what has been pieced together, the lost episode was written entirely by Matt Groening during production of the first season. Matt, Matt started to act strangely. He was very quiet, seemed nervous, and even morbid. Mentioning this to anyone who was present results them in getting very angry and forbidding you to ever mention it to Matt. The episode's production number was 7G44. The title was Dead Bart. In addition to getting angry, asking anyone who was on the show about this will cause them to do any, everything they can to stop you from directly communicating with Matt Groening. At a fan event, I managed to follow him after he spoke to a crowd and eventually had a chance to talk to him alone as he was leaving the building. He didn't seem upset that I followed him, probably expected a typical encounter with a with an obsessive fan. But when I mentioned the lost episode though, all color drained from his face and he started trembling. When I asked him if he could tell me any details about it, he sounded like he was on the verge of tears. He grabbed a piece of paper, wrote something on it, and handed it over to me. He begged me to never mention the episode again. The piece of paper had a website addressed on it. I would rather not say what it was for reasons you'll see in a second. I entered the address into my browser and I came to a site that was, that was completely black, except for a line of yellow text, a download link. I clicked on it, and the file started downloading. Once the file was downloaded, my computer went crazy. It was the worst virus I have ever seen. System restored didn't work, the entire computer had to be rebooted. Before doing this though, I copied the file onto a CD. I tried to open it on my now empty computer as I suspected. There was an episode of The Simpsons on it. The episode started off like any other episode, but had very poor quality, very poor quality animation. If you've seen the original animation for some enchanted evening, it was similar, but less stable. The first act was fairly normal. The way the characters acted was a little off. Homer seemed angrier, Marge seemed depressed, Lisa seemed anxious. Bart seemed to have genuine anger and hatred for his parents. The episode was about the Simpsons going on a plane trip. Near the end of the first act, the plane was taking off. Bart was fooling around, and, you, and as you'd expect, however, oh, as, you, as you'd expect. However, as the plane was about 50 feet off the ground, Bart broke a window on a plane and was sucked out. At the beginning of the series, Matt had the idea had an idea that the anime style of The Simpsons would world. Matt had an idea that the anime style of The Simpsons world represented life, and that death turned things more realistic. This was used in this episode. The picture of Bart's corpse was barely recogniz recognizable. They took full advantage of it, not having. They took full advantage of it, not having to move, and made an almost photo photorealistic drawing of his dead body. Act 1 ended with the shot of Bart's corpse. 
When Act 2 started, Homer, Marge, and Lisa were sitting on their table crying. Uh, sitting at their table crying. The crying went on and on. It got more pained and it sounded more realistic. Better acting than you would think possible. The animation started started to decay even more as they cried. As you could hear murmur and you, and you could hear murmuring in the background. This crying went on for all of Act 2. Act 3 opened with a title card saying one year had passed. Homer, Marge, and Lisa were skeletally thin and still sitting at the table. There was no sign of Maggie or the pets. They decided to visit Bart's grave. Springfield was completely deserted. As they walked to the cemetery, the houses as they walked to the cemetery, the houses became more and more decrepit. Or decrepit. They all looked abandoned, and when they got to the grave, Bart's body was just lying in front of the tombstone, looking just like it did at the end of Act 1. The family started crying again. Eventually, they stopped and just stared at Bart's body. The camera zoomed in on Homer's face, and according to summaries, Homer tells a joke at this part, but it isn't audible in a version I saw. You can't tell what Homer is saying. The view zoomed in. The view zoomed out as the episode came to a close. The tombstones in the background had the names of every Simpsons guest star on them. Some that no one had heard of in, eight, in, 1988, in 1989. Some that haven't been on the show yet, and all of them had death, da death dates on them. For guests who died since like Michael Jackson and George Harrison. The dates were when they would die. You can try you can try to use the tombstones to predict the death of Living Simpson guest stars, but there's something odd about most of the ones who haven't died yet. All of their deaths are listed at the same date. Okay, so that was uh, the story of Creepypasta of Dead Bart. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, you know, this uh, you know. This story is kind of up there with um, the Rugrats theory in my eyes. It's just like a really weird just thing. You know what I mean? Um, I think they also did include uh, the little video here. Um, it's kind of like the found footage or probably... Let me take a look at this. I wish I could show you guys, but I don't have any way to really put the episode or the little part of the clip into the stream. My bad, my bad. But, you know. It, it, it is what it is, though. So. Alright, let me, let me scan through this real quick. Yeah, y you can barely even make anything out from this, uh... Yeah, you can barely make anything out from it. Yeah, so it's not like exact recreation of the what the Greek pasta said. Um, yeah, so it probably won't be best even if I could show it onto the thing, you know. But I don't know. I honestly, I don't think I don't think it was a bad story at all. I give it like a seven out of ten. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the story. Um. I'm going to keep you guys here just a little bit longer so I can talk about um, some stuff. But yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, first off, thank you. Um, so I was wondering if you guys ever got ads on YouTube for my videos. Uh, if you guys did, I don't make any money off these videos. So I do have a Ko-Fi link down, uh, down in the description. If anyone would like to help donate to get me a computer so I can actually edit my videos, you know, it would be helpful. Um... And yeah, and while you're down there, I also have my links to my Instagram and my Twitter and all that stuff. I also do art and I stream on Twitch. That's what actually it is. That's a segment from my Twitch stream that I usually do. At the beginning of every stream, I record a little video. So this is why it's all one take. Um, but yeah. Also, the links uh, to GamerSub is down below. They aren't sponsoring me by any means. But if I keep showing out their product, they will have a chance of maybe sponsoring me. So, you know, that would be helpful. Okay. So, I do want to say, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.